Is anyone in the know why dynamic resolution is rarely used in PC games? As far as I know, it's one of the secret weapons of Switch games punching above their weight, quote unquote. Couldn't mm-hmm. dynamic resolutions be promising both in quote unquote vanilla form, but especially so in combination with state-of-the-art upscaling algorithms? Yeah, actually, um, Cyberpunk does um, DRS with uh, FSR, but weirdly not DLSS. Anyway. Yeah, it's a missed um, opportunity. I wonder if Valve could be working on something in that regard for SteamOS uh, slash DEX performance level settings for FSR, TSR, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, I think one of the reasons, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you've got a lot more to say about it, is mm. that um, uh, memory management on consoles is a lot more fine-grained and granular. Developers have a lot more control, and it's actually quite a useful thing to have for uh, dynamic resolution scaling. Yeah, memory, also having a good understanding of what is touching the GPU and what isn't. Um, There was a good thread by, I may be wrong, Chris Wright? Maybe I'm wrong, Chris Wright? Sorry, I'm forgetting names. Uh, Worked on Gears 5, works at the Coalition, talking about uh, getting... DRS to work on PC and I if I recall uh, Chris wrote how they had at the end of the project track because that game supports dynamic resolution scaling on PC but they had to track down a bug that was occurring on test machines because Microsoft Outlook like a default install program on Windows was occasionally like just grabbing into GPU and taking away GPU time, which was causing probably the rest to bottom out or for, or for the rest to change when it shouldn't be, arguably. Um, and so there, there, that's one thing that is just like the resource management on PC is less fixed and less stable, but therefore you usually tend to have a lot more of it. Like you have a lot more memory, you have a lot more GPU and CPU power usually than you have on a console in a higher end spec kit. And so these kind of things and actually being able to have like precise GPU timing for the frame that's currently being built is not always a given. Uh, so uh, that that leads to it being harder to implement on PC, but that doesn't mean it's not implemented. It's, pro- it's I've seen it implemented incredibly well. We've talked about that in the past for a lot of games where it's implemented very well. well I've also seen awful implementation. <laughs> I remember the one, my favorite one is uh, the game I like. Um, it's Rage 2, but I remember in that one, whenever you would jump, it would adjust the DRS. And I, I kept jumping up and down and the DRS went down to like, zero like like pixel pixels um so yeah so it is harder to do um it's not just switch games though it's like it's a big benefit on consoles as well too uh but one of the things that's kind of a counteract against drs is vrr displays uh to a little degree like on console you have to worry about getting like a flat 60 hertz because you can't assume everyone has a vrr display Mm -hmm. on pc it's starting to become so common that almost everyone has it and what's worse being at like 52 fps or and having really good image quality or being at 60 fps but then having noticeably degraded visual visual quality and i think a lot of people with vrr displays would say just drop a few frames they're, they're invisible anyways with VR. So I, as part, it was in my 13 uh, tenets of PC, good parts, whatever video. Uh, uh, please have DRS on PC, but I can't just expect it always, even though I really want it. Yeah. I think, you know, obviously with DRS, you need a frame rate limit to be targeting, you know, to adjust right. the resolution. And I do think there is good reasons to have like, you know, arbitrary refresh rate or sorry, or game update limits. Um, and to use DRS because you do, you know, nothing can beat a really truly consistent experience. Right. But um, yeah, I mean, you can obviously, I mean, Cyberpunk is an interesting one. You And I think uh, going back to like the, the gold standard Titanfall 2, you know, you define the upper and lower bounds and the frame rate target that you want, and then it should just work. Uh, so good. I think it's an extra tool in the toolbox and PC is all about that, right? 